I had to dress my absolute best, bring my, you know, A game to this episode because it is the mid-season finale, or I know it's not really a mid-season finale, but it's the part in which I'm going to review, damn it. But I had to look my best because I'm the goddamn cringe bender, all right? <laughs> Now, I, I just got back from a job interview, but hey everyone, welcome to my Avatar The Last Airbender episode 10, review and reaction, reaction and review, it's supposed to be reaction and review, I got that backwards in my head. Anyways, as promised, I am going to be reviewing the show at, you know, 10 episodes in, I think that's a much better way to approach this as opposed to an episode by episode review, so I will do another long form video like this once I get to the finale, very excited, let's check out Jet. That checks out. Take forever. That works. But now they just fell to their death. I mean, he is the Avatar. Are you kidding? He's just a goofy kid. <laughs> that is what? true. Why do boy carrying this pack? You know who you should ask to carry it for a while? Sokka. Sokka's instincts. That's a great idea. Fire Nation. <laughs> Oh, he's literally on fire. How'd you do that? Uh, instinct? <laughs> Damn. Damn, bro, sword bending. Oh, no, he's sickle bending. What the hell are those? I don't know why you did all that. Oh, that was cool. Bro, looks like that guy from Cowboy Bebop. My name is Jet, and these are my freedom fighters. Sneers, long shot, smell or beast. Only thing long is his goddamn face. And pipsqueak. <laughs> Damn. Roast the goddamn stone hostra. You want to see it? Yes, we want to see it. Bro's got that riz bending. Hold this. Why? That a noose? <laughs> no problem. He probably had a rough day. So you all live here? <laughs> That's right. Fire Nation swine. <laughs> I got a special joy. You make all these noises at night. We're going to find you eventually. False alarm. He's just an old man. Oh, they don't care. Damn. <laughs> oh, mercy. Does so is he just like that people go? Does the Fire Nation have mercy? So he's just a citizen of the Fire Nation, Jet, not just an old man. Remember why you fight. We got his Tatakai! Tatakai! Didn't feel right. Go. Could have at least helped him up, dude. <laughs> That's fucked up. Ouch, quit it. Damn, hitting him with hey, revenge. Sucker. I'm sure you just didn't notice the knife. There or he's was lying. No knife. I'm going back to the hut and packing my things. What can we do? Did do you not have to learn water bending and earth bending and fire bending by like summer? Why are you here, Aang? If you leave now, are they gonna now listen? Blow the dam. Blow the dam until I give the signal. If the reservoir isn't full, wow. We're gonna win a great victory against the Fire Nation today. Jet. Great way to say you're about to murder some kids. Well, we finished early. I'm sure he'll be happy to see us. <laughs> Bro made them fall for their well, own trap. There, you might want to practice your not work. Jet wouldn't do that. Damn. Yes, I would. Jet, oh, it's literally about to say he totally guitar. would. You've you done it for like twelve hours. Think. Well, the soundtrack is fire. Man, this turned into Naruto really quick. So is he trying to like kill Aang or what? Because the Avatar is the one person who could stop the Fire Nation and deal them the ultimate blow. Damn, Aang didn't take any fall damage. Damn, she's freezing him too. Oh. He's gonna knock it out with his boomerang. Oh, damn. No, he's not. The cabbage guy, imagine. Did he already evacuate the town? Sokka. I warned the villagers of your plan. Okay, that's what I figured. 
What? But one man vouched for me. Oh, the old guy. Damn, Sokka. Sokka came in clutch. We could have freed this valley. Everyone would be dead. Bro, was like Aaron. We all would have been free. Damn it. And sometimes they're wrong. Well, they didn't want to walk the rest of the way because I thought. Okay. There you all go. There is my latest reaction to Avatar The Last Airbender, book one featuring the goddamn sun in my eyes. So real quick, I thought the episode had some incredible animation and soundtracks, but I feel like the entire episode was like a nothing burger. And I'm saying that because Sokka in the beginning was like, we can't fly on the bison. We have to walk because the Fire Nation is going to know we're here. And that's why Zuko keeps catching up to us. And then at the end of the episode, he's the one who's um, in control of Appa flying the bison. So I felt like that whole thing went out the window. It's not like they were in trouble because Jet was frozen. Everyone else was like, in a trap, so they could have just continued to walk. Aang just heard from Avatar Roku that he has an extremely limited amount of time to learn three other bending styles. And they're still going on these side quests helping people. And I know that Jet lied to them saying, no, we can really help these people, but we can only do it now. But they had how many hours up until that point to just be like, hey, maybe we shouldn't be zip lining around. Maybe we should get back to the Northern Water Tribe because shit's about to go down. I, I really think that the pacing is not great, this book. I am enjoying the characters. I'm enjoying the story thus far with Zuko mainly, but the side quests I feel are just too much considering they already established that they are on a timetable now. I think this episode would have been great prior to the Roku episode, but it wasn't. So I honestly think it just wasted their time nothing came out of it it's not like they would have done it without katara and ang because they still needed a water bender to get the water out of the riverbed using the vents and they didn't have any benders with them at least they didn't show it so without them they would have never flooded the village to begin with and then on top of that jet was straight up trying to kill ang because he was using swords to at least incapacitate him so even at the very least if he incapacitated ang and like cut off his arm or made him immobile that's the number one key to stopping the fire nation the avatar so this whole this dude's whole thing is like we gotta stop the fire nation fire nation bad yeah you choose not to help the avatar the only person who can permanently stop the fire nation so i think the jet's whole character kind of falls apart if you think about it but yeah overall i'm really enjoying the show i do know it gets better i think the anim the animation and the voice acting the storytelling the soundtrack really stands the test of time i know it's not that old but this was coming from someone who's seen demon slayer attack on titan jujitsu like most newer animes and i still think this animation's good overall I, I i do think the show's off to a pretty decent start i'd probably give it a 7 out of 10. i, I think there's a difference between good and fun and right now i think the show is very fun and very entertaining but not so much like good yet and i know i'm only seeing half of the first book, which is only a third of the overall narrative. So I'm not judging it based off this. I'm just saying my thoughts so far now that I've seen 10 full episodes. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my reaction and review and me being blinded by the sun. I'm really intrigued to see book one wrap up. And with all that being said, I'll see you all in my episode 11 reaction to Avatar, The Last Airbender, book one. <sighs> Subscribe to Zang Helios for some more un-freaking-believable content.